Hello everybody! In this spreadsheet tutorial, we're going to go over how to use GoalSeek with the LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet application. We have two examples here and here, so let's go ahead and get started with our first example. Okay, so let's say that you're going to purchase a home and you're going to use the payment function to help you get an idea of what your monthly payment will be. So here we have used our payment function. The payment function can take five arguments which are listed here, the periodic rate, the number of periods, the present value, which is equivalent to the loan amount, the future value, and the when due. For the periodic rate, we started with an annual rate of 6%, and since our payments are going to be monthly, you wanna go ahead and divide that by 12. For the number of periods, our loan duration is going to be 15 years, and for that, you want to multiply that by 12. Again, the 12 has to do with the number of months in the year, and because our payments are going to be monthly. Our present value, or loan amount, is going to be $200,000. Now, as it stands, that will make our monthly payment about $1,687. Now, let's say that you've been doing really well at work and you're going to get a raise. And since you're going to get a raise, you think that you can make a little bit higher payment and get a little bit nicer house. So instead of a payment of $1,687, now you expect that you will be able to afford a monthly payment of about $2,000 a month. But now that you can afford that higher payment, you want to know what your new loan amount is going to be. So this is a good example of where you could use the goal seek. To use the goal seek, let's go up to the tools, then click on the goal seek here. And for the formula cell, you want to put in the cell reference for wherever your formula is. In this case, we are using the payment formula. Okay, so we've put in B18. Our new target value, instead of the $1,687, is going to be the slightly increased monthly payment that we believe we can afford, which is $2,000. And then the variable cell is going to be what we expect to change. So as we mentioned, we want to know what the new loan amount is going to be. So let's choose our loan amount here. Before we hit OK, let's do one more important thing. Since this target value is going to be a payment that comes out of our pocket, let's make that a negative. Now let's hit OK. We get a preview of the results, and we can hit Yes. OK, so with the increased monthly payment, our new loan amount is going to be approximately $237,000. Moving on to our second example. In this example, let's just say that we're taking a class, and our final grade depends on the test grades for four tests. So for our first test, we got 92 out of 100. Our second test, we got 91 out of 100. Our third test, we got 83 out of 100. And we haven't taken our fourth test yet, but we expect to get at least 85 out of 100. Now for our total, which is just an average of all four tests, we need to get at least a 90. Now since we haven't taken our fourth test yet, we expect to get at least 85, but we know that's not quite good enough to give us the 90 that we need at the end. We can use Goal Seek for this. So let's go up to Tools, go to Goal Seek. Our formula cell is here where we used our average, so that would be B28. Our target value is 90 and the variable cell is the fourth test. So by using Goal Seek this way, this will tell us exactly what we need to get on the fourth test and help us get an idea of how hard we need to study. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Hit Yes. So to get a 90, which will be our final class grade, we need to get at least a 94 on our fourth and last test. Okay, so that's all we have for this spreadsheet tutorial on how to use GoalSeek. We will be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.